Yes. Out of all the jobs I ever had, principal was my favorite job. I, I like, I, and I worked at central office. I, I love being a vice principal. I, I love being, a, I love being a principal. Mm-hmm. I loved it. And it is tough um, to see a lot of people don't want to go into that position. And I'm hearing more like there's teacher mm-hmm. shortages, but I hear there's principal shortages too uh, all over North America. So somebody who's like kind of thinking about it, you know, and like there's, 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 there's positives and negatives to every position. But mm-hmm. if you're talking to someone who is like just kind of on that tip that they might want to go into like school administration, like what would, what would you like, how could you like sell them on that? Like that here's, here's like why this is a, a great opportunity. I'm a, I'm gonna be clear and concise. First, I speak a lot about this on, on my podcast. Um, and like the episodes that I do. What, what's your, what's your podcast called? Unapologetic leadership. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man. Appreciate that. No, I talk a lot about this. And I, you know, when I talk to school leaders, I'm like, you know, if you could talk to somebody who's looking or like the story that you're talking about, if you could tailor this to somebody who's thinking about or that are in their first year, that's like, man, I don't know if I made the right decision. Right. Um, I, I'm going to be honest. Like there are, there, to be honest, there are more, for me, there's more pros than cons to leading a building, right? Like I, get to make change on a very large scale by having that 30,000 foot view. But then I get a choice to say, you know what, I'm going to go and do this today. I'm going to go and sit with this group. You know what? I want to go on a field trip with these students or this group of students, or I'm going to go participate in some after school event. Like you get, you get the ability to choose a lot of things to go and participate in because you have a global perspective. Right. Uh, my wife always asked me, she's like, you know, you got to go to that. You got to go to that. It's like, yeah, I, I do. Nobody's telling me I have to. I get to go do it because I get to see kids at their best. Um, I've seen a kid who struggled like this is where they're successful. Like I get to go and be there because I know those stories. Um, um, the job is challenging. Yes. Not, hands down. Job is challenging. But uh, when I say it's it's rewarding, like you can look back on um you get to look back on what you've done over the years. I always tell my students and I tell staff like, man, what's your legacy? Like, what is the story right. that people are going to say, tell about you when you leave? They're going to say, yep, they got in the seat, they maintain and they like things just kind of stayed the same. Or we were able to do this. We had these awesome experiences just through the connections that we have. And we did that. You know what I mean? Like there's, you can create a culture that's defined by your vision and your mission to want to do great for kids and your staff. Like yeah. for me, that's my day-to-day mission. Like I get to go to work every day to do, to, to move forward in the mission and vision that I have as the principal set for this building. 